Good morning, Good morning. How you doing this morning? Well, sir, it is a good looking Wednesday morning. A great day to be alive in the Lord, connecting with our wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father in his word. like some good, simple scrambled eggs in the morning. Come on, bring that cholesterol on. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 but you can bring the good news on. Yeah, yeah, the good news is Jesus Christ. And Pastor, we're going to step out of the way and let you do what you've been doing for the past over 25 years and a terrific job at that. And I'm talking about with Christ in action. So, Pastor, I'm going to hand it to you right now. You got all right, indeed, delighted to be bringing good news this morning, and it is the, the, that mystery which God would make known to every single one of us, as the Apostle Paul describes it in Colossians chapter 1 and verse 27, Christ in you, the hope of glory, for God was in Christ, not laying our sins to our account, but taking them unto himself and reconciling out the world unto himself. We declare to you that our Lord Jesus Christ, in order to save us, in order to save the day, because of love, he put himself in harm's way. But not only that, he rose again and promised to come and live within everyone who would receive him. And so make us his ambassadors to carry now this word of reconciliation to declare to all having received God's love that his love for all has been expressed in his son, Jesus Christ, to all and upon all and for all who will simply hear the good news of what he has done on our behalf. Well, to aid us in that, the Bible teaches us that God's spirit is sent to uh, those who accept the Lord Jesus Christ and he exacts a work in us to make us new creations, new beings in the resurrected work of Christ and so to have a new nature. But not only that, that he comes to fill and rest upon us to empower our lives to be the witnesses of Jesus. Acts chapter one and verse eight, as he himself spoken he spoke. And so then we are Christ's witnesses of his resurrection and his ongoing and living work as we, by his spirit, begin to uh, express him in all the world. He expresses and reveals himself in us for the Lord Jesus began to promise as he was about to depart and go to the cross in John 14, 15, 16. He describes the comforter who would come, the helper, the Greek word paraclete, one who is called alongside to help. And we're doing a series this month on the gifts in you. And, and we've been talking about the Holy Spirit and his helping ways. And uh, particularly, we, we started in 1 Corinthians 12, where something is enumerated that the Apostle Paul describes as the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And uh, these nine gifts, as he expressed them, are the word of wisdom, word of knowledge, discerning of spirits, uh, gifts of healings, working of miracles, faith, uh, tongues, and interpretation of tongues, and prophecy. Now, the scripture says in 1 Corinthians 12, about the third verse, that no man can say that Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Ghost. This is a very important truth to us that only the Holy Spirit can truly reveal Jesus and who he is in our hearts. In fact, Jesus himself taught that when he came in John 16, he would not speak of himself or his own authority, 
but he would testify of him and he would glorify him. This is very important because the Holy Spirit puts us on the same frequency with Jesus. He amplifies and makes Jesus big in our eyes. Why is that so important? Because It is because, you remember I started off, Christ in you, Jesus in you, Jesus in me, is the hope of glory. Not just heaven, but the hope of the fullness of God's purpose, plan, and design for every one of us. And so then when the Holy Spirit causes us to know and receive and confess Jesus as Lord, but then works in our lives to see him in us and all of his might and ability and power. And I suggest to you these nine gifts that the Apostle Paul talks about simply reveals what God has given and who he has made us and what he has supplied to us in the Lord Jesus Christ and makes us an agent of the same in showing and revealing and declaring these things in the lives of others. We talked yesterday about the, the gift of faith, not to be confused with the faith that comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God described in Romans chapter 10 and verse 17. But this is a aid of the Holy Spirit that causes us to see our Father God and the Lord Jesus in an extraordinary way that allows him to do the miraculous things that he is capable of doing in our lives. Yes, the word of God is our foundation and we study it to see who God is and what he has promised. The Holy Spirit makes it a rhema, a present word for us to see his great power displayed in situations where we may have never seen him do so before. We're gonna talk more about this, but know this, the Holy Spirit is sent to help and to aid and to allow us <clears throat> to see and receive <clears throat> the extent of God's love and power in our lives and to be an agent in the same in the lives of others. Are you allowing the help of the Holy Spirit? This is not a doctrinal debate. This is the love of God extended towards you and I that we might know the fullness of God and be an agent of sharing that with others as well. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Now, YouTube, there you will find these and other encouraging words to declare the love that God has for you, to build you up in your faith and who he is and what he has done for you and who you are made in him. That together, we are the difference that makes the difference that God desires and we desire in this world. So we awaken to his purpose of knowing him and the love that he has for us and mobilize his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. Hey, have you some scrambled eggs today? Well, of course, as always, don't overdo it, but enjoy it the way you like it. So uh, I, I, I take it that you are endorsing our scrambled eggs this morning. Yes, sir. I endorse scrambled eggs. Uh -huh. and, 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 and it came from the head. So he went back and told me about it only he did because the uh, doctor, doctor told me that I got the uh, cholesterol. <laughs> uh, Yes, sir. Blessings on you and the gospel explosion family, but keeping us in the house with Jesus as the center of our joy all day long. Or well, willing, we'll talk to you again in a couple of days. Have a great day. You too, Val. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. All right. Embrace the helping ways of the Holy Spirit. Express it. Embrace him and his helping ways as disclosed there in 1 Corinthians 12. I believe it's for us to and uh, God wants us to enjoy it. Hey, have a great day. We'll talk to you again tomorrow.